So hello, hello everyone. Welcome or welcome back to my very small YouTube channel about knitting. My name is Isabelle. I am in France. I have three sons and I have three cats. Some have said it's related. And I'm filming these videos in English because I miss my English very, very much. I used to live in the United States over 32 years ago. And I don't have many opportunities to be talking in English. So filming these videos is my weekly opportunity to do so. Today it's going to be a yarn no buy year uh, episode. And I'm going to tell you why you may see a few of these in the near future, because I mostly cannot knit any longer for now. Uh, and uh, if uh, this uh, sounds good to you, please stay tuned. Okay, so first, what am I wearing? I am wearing my uh, Aglia shawl by Mayu KP that I knit with uh, yarn uh, by Trellis. Um, so Trellis is a French dyer, indie dyer, and she lives uh, in Greece. And these two skins were part of her last summer, I think it was last summer birthday mystery box. So I need this shawl in October last year. And uh, I was a bit afraid that the yellow would not fit that much. Uh, my skin tone, yeah, the, yeah that's the front. Uh, but Anyway, when I wear with the, uh, with the green closer to my neck uh, and my face, it's, it's fine. And I think that I like it that way. So uh, I like that shawl very, very much. You may have seen that I have uh, injured one of my fingers. I made a, a post on Instagram about that. I'm not going to go into too many details because maybe some of you are quite sensitive uh, to that. Uh, but I'm going to tell you what happened. And this, this bandage is <laughs> ugly. The one I had <laughs> before last night when the nurse came to uh, do it over, over again was much better looking. But anyway, I hurt my, I, I sliced um, the top of my finger with a mandolin when I was preparing dinner on Saturday. Uh, it was a big thing because uh, you know that uh, fingers and head and you know the part do bleed a lot and uh, uh, it was like uh, an attack in zombie land uh, <laughs> after it happened. It took me quite a while before I could call and they said no 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 uh, so they uh, asked me to take a picture and send a picture and they said no 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 you go to the emergency room. I stayed for over 10 hours in the emergency room. My eldest son came, back, came with me and met me there with his girlfriend, but she left uh, not long after because she was uh, working on Sunday, so she wanted to go sleep, that's normal. And uh, um, we waited for over 10 hours. Uh, before uh, a doctor came and uh, you know took care of me, and after the doctor had uh, decided what was going to be happening, it went all very smoothly and rapidly. A nurse came and made the bandage, and uh, she gave me uh, a prescription. And uh, um, next day, so it was on a Sunday, I went to the uh, pharmacy to get my medication and everything and painkillers. Uh, because I did not sleep quite well, or not at all, uh, even not at all. So uh, uh, they gave me strong, stronger painkillers so I could have a long nap on Sunday and sleep Sunday night. On Monday, it was a holiday in France, and that's also why I wanted to be checked by, by a doctor, because um, I knew that it could not I had to wait uh, up to uh, Tuesday to... Uh, uh, to see my own physician. So um, uh, on Monday, I did not take any painkillers because I was feeling 
fine enough to be able to sleep without painkillers. Um, last night I took them again because the nurse who came to make the bandage again um, did hurt me quite a bit. So I, and it kept on hurting after she left. So I said, okay, no. I um, the, the the emergency medical doctor told me you have to not feel pain. Uh, especially in fingers, because when you feel pain in fingers and you let the pain um, uh, be, um, you get different way of um, responding to pain and sometimes it's not a very accurate way. So better kill the pain with painkiller, even strong things, and uh, just take them, the dosage I'm going to give you, and for the a few days, uh, the first few days and after you're going to be fine. So um, that's fine, but I can't knit. This, I, I tried to knit, uh, so uh, this is not blood, it's, uh, um, I, I peeled an orange, an orange uh, at, at noon and it stained, okay. I can't knit, it's too bulky and uh, I hold my yarn in my right hand and I can't knit continental style, style. <laughs> I just can't. Um, and I, I thought, oh, but that's going to be fun. I can knit and have uh, my yarn in uh, um, my two other fingers. No, it's not. I, I use my middle finger to uh, hold the yarn, keep my tension, move the stitches. And so I can knit, but it's quite difficult. So as I was in pain last night, I tried a little bit but I did not knit so I may not be not be able to knit for uh, quite a bit. So I usually keep my life updates uh, for the end of the video because some people don't are not interested in two life updates so if you do want to hear me talk about you can you know wait until the end of the video and people don't who don't want you just <laughs> stop there but uh, uh, I could not <laughs> you know film the whole video with that on my finger and you wondering what's happening anyway as it is my yarn no buy year uh, I'm gonna be talking about uh, how long I'm not sure for how long I'm gonna be filming um, but a colleague of mine uh, went uh, uh, to Bergen and uh, he sent a picture of a yarn store saying ah that's for you and I said oh, okay are you still there and he said no not right now but uh, because he was there for science project of some sort and um, he said no but on Saturday I live on on Sunday and Saturday is going to be a day off I can go back so I said okay if you have the time and the will and everything and if it's fun to you um, go there and just ask them for local, undyed, uh, unprocessed or the least processed uh, yarn uh, and if possible, you know, yarn from Norway or even Iceland because um, even if Iceland is far away from Norway or Finland, um, it was there so I did not know which kind of yarn was in the store. And uh, so he brought me yarn. So the store is, I have the ticket here, is uh, Strickelika, I'm not sure how to pronounce that. So it, it's in Bergen, um, uh, Strandgaten 76. Uh, you have the website uh, www.strickelika, I guess I can't read that much, dot com. And uh, he got me six skins of Roma Garn Finul. So he said, what do you want? And I said, local, undyed, or unprocessed, or little processed yarn, and uh, uh, between fingering and decay. He did not know what this was. <laughs> all about and I said don't worry the lady in the yarn store will know so I think this one is sports weight um, it's uh, 175 meter for 50 grams so yeah it's between uh, uh, decay and uh, uh, fingering and uh, or maybe closer to fingering 
And so, uh, final, uh, the number is uh, 0401, so uh, for this color weight, it's undyed uh, natural color weight. So I have two balls of the undyed natural color weight. I have two balls, same yarn uh, of the 404 light gray. And I have two balls of the four or five darker gray. So I have six balls of um, final yarn. Um, don't, so uh, darker gray, uh, lighter gray, and an undyed creamy, creamy white, the way sheep, undyed sheep is. So what I want to do with it, because I had enough time to daydream about what I wanted to be doing with it, and uh, I'm gonna stop here because uh, I realize I do not have my uh, page up. Okay, I find it and I placed it in my queue. Uh, it's uh, Missoni accomplished by Espace Tricot. Once again, it's a free pattern. I did not say Aglia, Aglia Shawl is a free pattern. Uh, by May UKP. Um, so Missoni Accomplished is a free pattern by Espace Tricot. I, Espace Tricot, not sure how you would prefer to say that. And uh, I have this one in my favorites for, uh, I've had it for a long, long time. So I'm gonna do the stripes with the creamy white color. And I think I'm gonna do the top part with um, the, uh, the uh, darker gray, the middle part with the lighter gray. And let me see because I changed my screen. Yeah, the middle part with the uh, middle gray, and uh, then the uh, the other, you know, the other the other one in uh, um, the stripe in white, and the late last parts in dark gray. So this is the one I'm going to be making. I'll see uh, if I have enough to ha make uh, the sweater with long sleeves. If I do not, I'll uh, knit whatever the body I want to be knitting and I'll see what's left uh, for the sleeves and I'll weight the yarn so that it can match um, the body and the sleeves for the stripes, the different stripes. But I have been wanting to make that one for a very, very long time. And I've, I have a few other patterns uh, from Espace Tricot um, that uh, I've been wanting to make for a long time. So I gave him 30 euros. It's a bit over what he paid, but you know, I, you know, uh, made the price an even price uh, at the top five euros regarding what he was paying. And uh, uh, yeah, I'm very happy. It smells, it smells like clean barn, sheep in clean barn. I love that kind of smell. And uh, um, I'm very happy to have the opportunity to be knitting with uh, that yarn. And uh, um, the company, the Roma company uh, is local to uh, Bergen or at least they are in this area. And it's a family company. I had a little, I did a little research on that. And uh, uh, yeah, I was very happy he brought that to me. I have a few other ideas <laughs> for him if uh, he ever goes back to Bergen, but he said he was going to be going back maybe next year. So uh, yeah, that was very, very nice of him to think of me. Uh, many of my colleagues know I need and uh, I've made you know, needs for some of them at some point. So, uh, yeah, he was very, very happy. And uh, I was very happy to receive that yarn. That was quite unexpected. And I, uh, you know, even if uh, this is my yarn by year, and uh, uh, I have a way to manage my uh, urge to buy yarn and patterns and things like that, and spend too much money and uh, need from what I have. Uh, yeah, yarn comes my way, and I know that yarn comes my way. Come talking about yarn coming my way, um, there was one thing I forgot to mention in my last uh, checking for uh, April, 
uh, yeah, we got, we are, this is the May uh, check-in today. Uh, when I went to visit my mother, she gave me a lot of cotton. And I was thinking, <laughs> I don't have any white cotton any longer, and I would like to be knitting some summer tops in white cotton. And uh, uh. I still have cotton that she gave me last year, but one is bright pink. Um, there is a very deep blue that I like, but I was thinking, oh, I don't have any white cotton. She gave me some. So the first thing, this is deep stash for 40, 50 years old, maybe. Um, the first one she gave is, uh, I think it's not a full bowl. I have two, but they are not the same color. Maybe you can see, maybe you cannot. Uh, this one is much creamier than this one, and I'm not sure if it's only on the outside because the way it was stored or not, but I think these are the same two ones. Uh, I'm not sure it still exists. It's Cotton 50 by Filda. It's a, it's a, it's a young company uh, uh, that in France. Not, not the kind of yarn I now know that I like to be knitting with, but uh, anyway, she gave it to me, so I'm going to be, I, I will use it. Uh, this one is 50% acrylic, 50% cotton, and it's, uh, let me see, you use 0 to 1 US, so 2 to 2.5 millimeter um, needles, and it's 420 meters for 100 grams. So I'm not sure these two balls are, uh, maybe that way you can see one is creamier than the other one. Um, these are not full 100 grams balls, but I guess I have uh, enough. It's a very fine one, so I may uh, knit with uh, both of them together tomorrow with uh, the appropriate coat <laughs> around morning um, and to do something a tank or something I guess I have enough to make a tank. The other thing she gave me and this I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing with because I think it's some kind of cotton or we call that field decos. So it's a very fine mercerized cotton, I guess. And I stopped her, she was unraveling that. So you see this one is all yellow too. And I think she was crocheting um, something to put on a table, I guess, or something like that. And uh, uh, so I said, no, 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 do not unravel that. I keep that, I keep that. And this is a uh, field decos, where is the one that I saw? Yeah, so it's a very, very, very fine, highly twisted, very, with absolutely no give uh, on the thread um, cotton for that type of thing. I have another one here. I have several balls of different whites. I'm not sure what she was making with that. Uh, where is, which, which way is that? I'm not sure where is it. Maybe she's, it's the one she was unraveling when I stopped her. It's, it, where is the thread linked to? Yeah, it's, let me see. Yeah, it's here. So uh, that's another part uh, of this very fine gauge crochet of I think these are pieces you put on tables or on furniture to put your plants or some other things. So I have one bowl. I have several bowls of this very, very highly twisted cotton, uh, field decos. So it's 100% cotton. Um, several one of them, and maybe you can see some of them are white and same way. Some of them are a bit more creamy white, more pearly white. Um, I have, you know, three, three balls, three or four balls like that. The one thing that I am most interested in too, and I have five balls and a partial ball, is this one. This is Reliefs, uh, it's cotton and viscose, so it's all plant-based. Uh, three to three and a half millimeter needles. Uh, um, where does it say how much there is? I'm sure it's somewhere. 
uh, I can't find it right now. If I do find it after that, I will uh, write it on the screen. Um, it should be somewhere. Um, anyway, 33 rows for 22 stitches. Um, yeah, it's here. Um, about 98 meters, so about 100 meters, less than 100 meters for 50 grams. And it's a cotton that is called relief. Uh, relief means um, the way the mountains are with hills and, and valleys and things like that. So this cotton, I may just take this one. You see, this cotton is very irregular. With, I'm not sure these are blobs. Uh, it's more irregularities than with blobs. And I have four of these and one of that, that one. So I think I also have enough to make some kind of a summer top. And um, that I, you know, I'm very happy with that one cotton. And so I also have this one that is a smoother uh, cotton, so cotton, 51% cotton and 49% modal. Modal is also a viscose type of fiber, so it's a plant fiber. Uh, but I just have one ball and maybe that one is the same. I'm not sure. I'll have to swatch uh, to see if these are the same. But I just have that and maybe that little ball too. And uh, it may not be able enough to make some garment, but I can combine it if I have a cotton from the other color. I have to check which um, thickness is the dark blue and I can, you know, maybe stripe. Even though I don't like stripes, maybe I could stripe and do something. So I have a lot of cotton now. A lot of plant-based uh, material. One of them is with um, petrol, <laughs> petrol, uh, fossil uh, fuel uh, acrylic, and I don't like that. But she gave it to me, so I might as well uh, use it. Um, so I'm very happy. I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing with the cotton that is for this type of very fine crochet. I may use it, I may not, I may keep it for now, but um, yes, uh, a lot of cotton and uh, for summer needs. So we are talking about summer needs. How long have I been talking? Maybe 30 minutes. Maybe I have time to talk about that. Um, summer needs, one way I manage uh, my um, yarn no buy year and my urge to buy patterns because for the last year I could manage not buying yarn or buying yarn only if I was in a store and so not buying yarn online. No online buys because this is what threw me over the top. Add to cart and buy, add to cart and buy, add to cart and buy and uh, uh, at some point it was overwhelming. So I stopped doing that and I can do that because I know there are places I can go during my vacation or that is close to, closer to me, about two hours drive, two hours drive from me in Normandy and get beautiful yarn. So I'm not feeling too much that urge of buying yarn, even though there I made a video and I tried to attach it here about my yarn kryptonite, <laughs> the ones I really, really would like to be knitting with. And into that respect, that uh, video prompted one of you to contact me and we've been talking and we'll be exchanging stash. And I will be able to knit with one of my yarn kryptonite that she's, or kryptonite, that she's gonna be sending. Caroline in Germany, and I'm and I've been sending her somewhere. So uh, Jan comes my way in one way or in other, another. So that's Ramses, and he's very interested by the yarn all over the table. So we'll see what he wants to be doing. And the other thing is uh, the way I manage not to be buying all the patterns because. At the end of last year, I realized I had spent over 200 euros in online individual online patterns. So that was a lot, too much. And I said, okay, I need to stop that. 
So I make a bundle on Ravelry with <laughs> what I've called want to make 2023. Um, it's all the patterns from January onward that I have onward that I have seen and I want to be knitting and the patterns I would have bought if I did not have that project. Because thing is, I have hundreds, maybe thousands of patterns in my library with the very beautiful books I have, all my online library and everything that I'm not knitting. So uh, I said, okay, I can buy patterns. I'm not forbidding myself to buying patterns, uh, but I buy the patterns when I want to cast on, when I'm sure I have the yarn and I will cast it on that same day. So um, books is a different story because I love books, but uh, online patterns, I said no more buying, but I want to keep tracks of what I like. And uh, so in this bundle on Ravelry, I will link it down below. Um, I So far, I haven't uh, removed any patterns uh, last month and I did not have any time for this month to go through the whole library, the whole bunch of patterns. How many do I have in that category? I have it somewhere. I have it somewhere. There are 63 patterns in my want to make uh, library bundle on Ravelry for now. And uh, so um, I will, for the, during the next months, I will go through the whole list and see if I want, I still would like to make them. And if I still want to keep them in the library or if I just place them here because I had that, oh, squirrel, 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 that's the way you say in English. Uh, I want to make that, I want to make that. And a few months away, Maybe sometimes you don't remember why you bought the pattern in the first place and why I placed the pattern in that bundle in the first place. So uh, my idea is to go through that bundle and add the patterns I see that I want to keep track of and I don't want to be going in the bottom of my own large library. I want to keep track of them uh, and I want to be able to revisit them and decide if I really want to keep them you know, somewhere in a place I can retrieve and buy whenever I'm ready or if it was just a one, one day uh, thing and um, uh, I'm not going to be um, making them. So uh, I think I have 10 new patterns uh, since we last, uh, I last talked about 10 new patterns, mostly summer patterns, of course, mostly t-shirts and there is, uh, there are a couple blouses or summer sweaters and a more, uh, wintertime sweater that I like a lot. Um, and, uh, for the t-shirt patterns, what I'm going to be starting with, uh, it's not the first one. Well, maybe I can start with the first one I added is the Upton T by Tori Yu. Uh, the pattern is eight euros and fifty US dollars. So eight eight fifty US dollars. So it's about eight euros and thirty thirty cents. Um, this t-shirt I like a lot because the sleeves are uh, with a special open motif. Um, it's quite an American type of tee with the sleeve that are a raglan, a raglan uh, shoulder uh, with the sleeves that are of a different either color or motif or things like that. I don't like dropped sleeves because it stretches too much the uh, fabric, but I like raglan or or other type of shoulders. So this one is fine. You have gazillions of uh, already of uh, projects because it's been released uh, in April 2023. There are already almost 100 projects as we speak, 94. So that's a lot of projects. It's a very beautiful tea. 
and uh, maybe it's going to be you know using one of my cotton I did not it's a finger in tea so um, yeah uh, I may be using one of the cotton I have to make it and uh, uh, yeah th this one I like a lot Next is uh, Hilpu by, oh, so okay, another disclaimer, all the patterns I'm going to be talking about, I, unless they are free, I haven't bought them. So I can't talk about these patterns, other ones, other than I like them and I would like to cast them on. And once I buy them and once I can read through, I can give you an honest review of the pattern but for now it's just the pictures and the look of the pattern that I'm attracted to. Um, so the next one is Hilp Poo by Meiyu KP, same uh, uh, designer by um, this uh, about for for this role and I have a book contrast book that my eldest son gave me for uh, Christmas. And, uh, uh, or maybe it was my birthday. I don't recall, but she, he, he offered the book to me. He gave the book to me. Um, so Hilpu is also a, a V-neck t-shirt. Uh, six uh, euros and 90 cents. There is no conversion. It's about the same in US dollars, I guess. Uh, once again, it's, it's not a drop shoulder. So I guess it's a contiguous sleeve. Yeah, that's the, what she says. That's what she says. And uh, there is a beautiful motif on the sleeve. I like that, a V-neck. I like that. And uh, maybe you can wear it uh, front and back for the V. I don't, I'm not sure, 45 project. So that's also uh, quite a few projects. And uh, the same uh, for the Upton Tea by um, Tori Yu. Uh, you can browse through the project and you can see how the garment fits on different body types and uh, see if your own body type, if you can relate to your own body type and the way it fits. And I think it fits very fine very nicely and uh, some people have made it with long sleeves or shorter sleeves but and on some of the samples or or the projects you can see how beautiful the design is on the sleeve so this is why the v-neck i don't have many v-necks um, but for the summer i think it's nice and the design on the sleeve this is what i like on the shoulder and on the sleeve this is what i liked next is a free pattern. Uh, it's Admit by Noragon. It's been published in May 2014, a long time ago. And I may have written somewhere. If I have written somewhere, I, I, I will write it below the screen. I do not recall. Somebody talked about it. Either I saw that on Instagram or in someone's video. I quite sorry I do not recall but anyway this t-shirt is a sleeveless t-shirt with a very beautiful motif lace motif at the, the front that so it's a, um, a crew neck a regular neck but the motif is forms a V at the front it's very very beautiful there is 128 projects and once again, when you look at the project, you can see how people wear it and how the V, it's a double V open lace motif in the front is looking. It's, it's really, really nice. And uh, yeah, Noragon, of course. And people still have project that they finished this year in May 2023. And it's been it over and over, um, over the years. And it's... Uh, so you can, you can download it and have a look for yourself if, if you like it. Next is uh, a pet for pattern. It's Arisu by Svetlana Volkova. Uh, it's uh, six US dollars, so it's about five euros and 80, 86 cents. It's part of an ebook that you can buy. Uh, there are seven patterns in this ebook, but you can buy it um, on its own. And what I liked is also a v neck with a lace at the v neck and a scalloped edge and lace at the bottom. And I like very much lace this lace at the bottom of this t-shirt. So it's been published in June 20, 
2018, so quite a long time ago, 212 projects as we speak. Once again, I do not recall, I should write down where I found the pat a pattern, but sometimes I look and I'm in my, be in my bed, so add to that bundle and uh, I don't have the time or I don't take the time to write down where I found it. But this one for sure, once again, someone, I did not find it on my own, someone uh, pointed me um, towards this pattern and I thank you very much, I do not recall who, who you were. Uh, but this bottom edge is really nice and I like also um, the v-neck. Next is another t-shirt, uh, it's Derecho by Alison Green. This one is 8 US dollars, so that's 7 and 81 euro, uh, cents, 7 euros and 81 cents. Um, it's also another part of another bundle, an ebook. Um, six patterns in this ebook. Uh, it's a Barocco publication and it's been published in 2021. And this one, once again, it's a t-shirt and what I like, it's a yoke t-shirt with a special stitch motif. Um, I guess these are garter ridges, I'm not sure. Um, maybe these are garter ridges, that's what it looks like. Uh, 1202 projects. A lot, a lot of projects. I'm going to stop to be coughing. Okay, I'm back. So, uh, yeah, it's a uh, Barocco. Okay, <laughs> Ramses is <laughs> crying at the window. A Barocco pattern. And, uh, um, uh, yeah, with a gar gar garter ridge, and uh, this one is also very elegant. It's in a dark uh, gray color. The sample is in a dark uh, gray color. But if you look at the project, some of them are very colorful. Uh, people have knit uh, some of it, uh, some projects uh, finished in May this year. So uh, uh, very successful uh, design. It's been published in December 2016, so that's uh, seven years ago, and as we speak. And uh, some people have made fades, and yeah, very. I'm, I'm sure this pattern you can tweak to your own uh, requirements. You can see the different projects and very, very, very wide range of body sizes. And I think once again, it fits. Uh, it could fit a lot of people. Some people have added added sleeves, even though um, the original sample is short-sleeved. Short but anyway, there are many inspiration projects uh, for uh, this t-shirt. Next, and it's a designer, once again, I think I came across one of her patterns on Instagram that was a recommendation by Instagram and I have to say that I usually do not follow Instagram recommendations. I usually skip everything I'm not subscribed to. If I'm interested, I will subscribe. Um, and if I'm not in, uh, subscribed, I try to scroll and all the commercials and ads and everything and recommend it for you. And uh, I'm not sure the algorithm is really suited to me, uh, but for that one time it was. Um, it's the designer, her name is, I'm going to butcher her name, uh, Yeon Hua Li. I'm very sorry, <laughs> I'm butchering your name. And uh, um, she has not that many patterns in her rubbery store, but they are all more beautiful, the ones than the others. The one that caught my eye, it's a t-shirt, it's Out of My Dreams Tea. It's been published in July 2022. It's six euros. There is no the equivalent, uh, not the equivalent in, uh, um, in US dollars or other currencies. And once again, when you look at the projects, you can see most of the people are young and slim people who need that uh, t-shirt. Uh, and I'm not young and I'm not slim, but you can watch, you can have a look at 
the uh, different projects and you can see that many people of many different body types have um, knit that t-shirt and I like the neckline, the scalloped neck neckline. I like um, it's a yoke and with a lake at the top. And uh, so it's not that original as of an idea, but the interpretation is really beautiful. And uh, she made it in some kind of a purple that I think that's what caught my eye, even though uh, not much of a purple uh, person, but this one really caught my eye. And there is one in a green one that is really beautiful. Uh, no, it's not a yoke. It's a raglan sieve, I guess. It's a raglan sieve. Let me see in the details if she says what uh, in the round. Uh, she doesn't say. Rather, I don't see top down, okay, seamless top down, but um, yeah, lace at the top, scalloped neck, short sleeves, that bright purple color caught my eye, and the scalloped edge at the neckline, beautiful. And what I like, but that fits her very well because she's very, very skinny, is that the sleeves are a bit wider than her arms, and uh, I think it's really, really. Um, flattering, very nice. So, uh, yeah, so once I discovered her, I subscribed to her Instagram and I went to see her other patterns. And I'm not sure if the next one is one again from her, but um, I can go to the other ones. I've, um, I've uh, once again, that caught my eye after I uh, went to her Ravelry store. It's out of my dreams blouse. So there was the t-shirt and uh, um, there is a blouse. I'm not sure I could, I like the neck, uh, the little neck, but um, with I think the same kind of motif, long sleeves in mohair. I have fine mohair that is waiting for uh, my attention. Uh, Six euros and 50 cents. Uh, it's been published in May 2022, so a year ago, 21 projects. And uh, this blouse, people have made long sleeves, short sleeves, uh, with or without the little color at the top. Very nice. So, uh, so some of them are even made with very open gauge, very fine, fine, fine mohair and very see-through. Beautiful, beautiful. Not sure it would fit me and I could wear something that is extremely see-through, but um, uh, yes, yes, a very beautiful pattern. And the other one, so I have three of them um, in my want to make, is Lily of the Valley Blues, blouse, blouse. Um, so it's been published in February 2021. It's uh, €7.50. So once again, a blouse with the less motif, large or bigger sleeves, a uh, very open uh, gauge where you can see through the arm and see through. And uh, some people have made with different type of uh, yarn, Dif no sleeves, short sleeves, uh, three quarter uh, length sleeves. Uh, and uh, yeah, how many projects? 32 projects and uh, yeah you can you can see there are also different body types um, you can you can have a look and you can see it fits many different body types many dif many different yarn so once again a pattern that I I really liked uh, a lot so now we are going to moving to a summer sweater um, that was made by Retro Sogard in Ficolana. Uh, I think it's a free pattern. Yes, it's Saint Malo. So this uh, sweater, when I was t t talking about um, striping blue, uh, dark blue and white cotton, um, this is the one I was thinking about. Um, this one is with fingering yarn, so you can buy, you can have a look because it's for uh, it's a free pattern, and I like the V-neck, and uh, it kind of reminds me of the Corbis sweater that I have in my library that I should need at some need at some point, um, but that kind of V-neck, an open but uh, between a boat neck and a V-neck, 
or if like if a boot neck and a v-neck had a baby and uh, uh, it's that kind of open v-neck on the shoulder that is not quite a boot neck but uh, still a v-neck for uh, <laughs> for some parts uh, 10 projects which is um, surprising for it's been published in january 2023 and uh, uh, i think that uh, this would fit uh, cotton very well and a summer a summer sweater very well it's long sleeved but i'm sure as it's a yoke uh in a striped yoke you can adjust the sleeves to the length that uh you prefer and are there any projects in the 10 projects are they all long sleeves there are only six pictures, but I haven't, yeah, I guess they are all long sleeves, but uh, yeah, a free one. And uh, if you are interested in two free patterns too, you can, uh, you can browse through Phil Colana website. They have many, many different uh, free patterns. Of course, it's uh, some kind of a way for them to have you look at their own yarn and maybe buy the onion and use the pattern with the onion. But uh, uh, yeah, they're very generous into uh, publishing free patterns and it's uh, very convenient. The last pattern, I made it, it made it in my want to make uh, bundle. It's been published in 2023 in February by uh, Caitlin Hunter. I'm not sure I want to make it, but I wanted to keep it in somewhere close so that I can go and have a look and revisit it later on. Uh, it's uh, Northerly by Kaking Hunter. It's nine US dollars, so eight euros and 79 cents. Northerly is an all over color work. I've never done that um, in sports weight. So I do have a lot of sports weight. And uh, um, I was thinking maybe if I go to um, Lenal West, which is the uh, uh, farm in Cotentin, in two hours away from me, where they have that very rustic yarn from uh, sheep from Normandy. Uh, I may get some yarn, dyed yarn. They do their own dyeing. Uh, I have lots of leftover of the undyed one and uh, uh, some polys in white, in white for the background, red and black, I guess, or very dark blue, I suppose. And um, uh, yeah, all this pattern all over color work, there is also some kind of stitch motif somewhere. Uh, color work and not lace stitch motif. Um, I really, really liked it a lot. Balloon knee sleeves, not quite balloon sleeve, balloon at the end sleeves, balloon knee sleeves maybe. And um, I think it's a very, very beautiful pattern. Um, 71 projects. You can have a look at uh, all the different projects. So I've used uh, spin cycle yarn. And uh, uh, I will make a video about uh, my kryptonite, my yarn kryptonite, because some of you have recommended other alternatives for uh, spin cycle. In, uh, and uh, I had a look and it's <laughs> more kryptonite <laughs> for myself. Anyway, um, this pattern is very, very, very beautiful. Um, I'm not sure why it caught my eye that much, because I don't like that much of a busy pattern. It's not much of my style. I'm more into either color block or um, uh, yoke, uh, color work in the yoke. I've made several of them. That busy of a pattern, I'm not sure what caught my attention and my eye, but I like it very, very, very much. I Once again, uh, it's been published a year ago uh, when was it? I, I just say it a few minutes ago, uh, February 2023. So I may have seen that in my Instagram feed or uh, I'm not sure where I saw the pattern, but uh, it's very appealing to me. 
because also I have never work, uh, never made an all color work sweater for myself. And when people do that, when I see other people on YouTube or Instagram or pictures of Pinterest of that type of sweater, I'm always in awe and in admiration of what people have done. So uh, maybe that one will make... I have to go to the Cotentin and see if there are yarn colors I like, combination I like, and uh, uh, I may get yarn to go with the creamy white um, to make that, that sweater. But uh, yeah, it's really, really tempting me right now uh, because it's something I've never done. Okay, so I managed to talk for an hour without having any <laughs> any knitting to show you. Uh, I think I'm going to stop there. I'm not going to be talking more about my life updates other than my mother It's following its own course and uh, I think we've reached some kind of a steady state. Now I still have things to do for her but it's it's not on the very preoccupying side. I'm less worried about her. Um, so I'm more at peace with, with her right now. My own finger we have to wait. Lyme disease, we'll see, <laughs> but I don't think I will have it because of the treatment I'm having right now and I will have some tests done away from now because I think he told me, I'm not sure I recall what he said to me this morning, that he wanted to wait and we ha will have some blood uh, work done to check for Lyme disease, but to him it's there, there is not much um, uh, infected ticks in my area, but they do carry all the unpleasant bacteria and stuff. So uh, this is treated and uh, yeah, I just have to wait now. I'm going to be quite frustrated not being able to knit. Uh, so I can read, <laughs> I can daydream. Um, I think I will cast on the Kelara, Kerala. I'm going to be stopping here and I'm going to be checking. Yeah, sorry, <laughs> I found it again. The Calara shawl by Amba O'Brien. So it's a paid for pattern that I haven't bought yet. Uh, it's seven US dollars, uh, uh, six euros and 83 cents. And I've talked about that shawl already. And um, one of you have uh, had suggested it to me in my uh, YouTube comments. So uh, uh, I might buy the uh, pattern because it's all got, uh, um, I think with my, uh, it's a super wash yarn that I want to be using with, so it's smoother. I guess it's uh, going to be going much easier on my fingers and it's going to be easier for me to be knitting with. I may do that. I may do that. I may not. I'm not sure. But anyway, um, I've seen a lot of, a lot, let's keep everything cool. Uh, I've, I've seen quite a few people c new coming to the channel, this my channel and subscribing. And I thank you very much because you have to know that I do appreciate every single one of you. And I do enjoy when I see that people find my channel and subscribe and comment under the video and I really enjoy all the talks we are having and they are very insightful and uh, they do help me process and evolve and uh, we do that all together. Uh, so uh, yes, I thank you very much for being here with me. I uh, thank you very much for commenting and most probably sharing my videos. I guess that's where it's coming from. I'm not sure if there is other reasons or how you found, if you are new here, or how you found my channel. Uh, or if YouTube <laughs> has picked me up, maybe. I do not know. Uh, but anyway, I thank you very much uh, for being here with me. I'm not sure what the next video is going to be about because if I can't knit, I will have to... I have a few ideas. Um, but anyway, uh, we'll see what uh, I'll be coming, coming up with. 
And uh, yes, I hope you have a wonderful week. Uh, I'm sending you plenty little stitches. And I do hope that uh, you can find joy and happiness into your knitting because uh, it's going to come all by itself. And we do actively have to work on that. Uh, it's it's not the rain, like the rain or the sunshine. It doesn't come all by itself. And if we actively place joy and happiness into our little stitches every day, uh, it's one part of your life or of your day and even if it's a small part of the day then you dedicate to yourself and uh, to being happy with what you are doing and that's the most important so yes i hope you have a very nice week uh, happy knitting and i will see you next time